Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about how to automate your pending ticket management. Pending status is used within Zendesk when you're waiting on an update from the end user or requester. An example of this is when the agent reaches out and requests more detail from that end user and moves the ticket into a pending status. If this is not the way you're using it within Zendesk, please know that the next few slides may not apply to your use case. So what we hear from customers is that managing pending tickets is often a manual and cumbersome process for agents. It takes time to revisit those pending tickets, type out follow-ups, and ensure that nothing's getting missed. So our goal is to automate that for you. And that's done so through our bump solve process, which automates the closure of those pending tickets with no agent touch. All you need to do is ensure that agents know when to move tickets into the pending status. So we're going to talk through that bump self process on the next slide. Please know that I'll also add a link at the end of the video here so you can follow step-by-step -step instructions on how to create it in your own account. So this is what the bump self process looks like. The agent changes the ticket to pending. Maybe they say, hey, Mara, thanks for your request. Please reply with a photo of the damaged product that you're asking about. Then let's say 48 hours passes, you can select this time frame, and an automation will send the first bump. So automatically a message such as, hi Mara, we're still waiting to hear back from you. Please reply at your earliest convenience so we can continue to assist you. Is sent out to the end user. Again, no agent action required. Then another time frame passes, let's say 24 hours, and now the bump solve will occur again via automation and triggers within Zendesk. The message we contacted you a couple days ago to follow up on the requested information needed by your support agent. We haven't heard back, so we'll solve the ticket for the time being. If assistance is still needed, simply respond and your ticket will reopen. The automation will then solve the ticket out. And again, no action required by the agent. So this process can all occur. You can follow up with the end user, solve the tickets out, and hopefully save some time on the agent side. When Zendesk moved over to using the bump self process internally, in one quarter, we had over 8,000 tickets that were solved by bump self alone. This represents around 15 to 20% of ticket volumes over the course of a normal working day. We have seen great success with it. I hope that you will too. Thanks for joining and we'll see you next time.